A funeral prearrangement is definitely one component of a, a well done estate plan and definitely goes beyond just funeral arranging and it's important uh, in your planning to have a current will. Uh, managing and keeping that up to date, naming an executor, someone who's going to be your voice once you've died to ensure that your directives and your, um, your wishes are followed through on. Uh, two other documents which are helpful, um, I think the first uh, which is going to help most with financial matters if you're not able to uh, for whatever reason look after your financial affairs, a power of attorney is a document which does that. Uh, any lawyer could draw one up for you and basically you give someone the power, your attorney, to basically be your signature and to sign for things of importance on your behalf. Now with your, your power of attorney wherein you've given someone the ability to sign your name for financial matters, if you want to add to that health directives, specific instructions concerning the quality of care and your expectations for what should be done under various circumstances, that document is uh, called a representation agreement. Uh, you basically empower someone to be your representative, your voice concerning your care uh, if you can't speak for yourself. And uh, In consideration of a living will uh, where you and your doctor have decided, you know, if I'm just being kept alive uh, by mechanical means, um, it's okay to pull the plug. Um, I'm happy to die naturally. When um, a family comes in or a couple comes in to prearrange at Springfield Funeral Home, um, a lot of the paperwork that is done is not only your final wishes, um, however we also would take information such as who the next of kin is, um, and these records should be updated on a regular basis uh, so we would know who the executor is, their current address and so on. And having in a secure location having things like your social insurance number and your marriage certificate are really important. Other things like your family history because you do need to know your mother and father's names and where they were born. The basic forms that most people have is they have a will, they keep it updated, uh, they have power of attorney, uh, representation agreements, a living will, just to give some health care mandates on to their next of kin. And if any of those choices change, it's very important for them to also update that and let their next of kin know 